Welcome to the uh, continuation aspect of the laws of log of indices and logarithm. Now, today's class we'll be talking uh, we'll be talking about laws of logarithm. Now, what are the laws of logarithm? The first one is that if you have log, if you have log. Let's say log a base b, or let me say log a base x plus log b base x, log a base x plus log b base x, then it will become this addition will change to multiplication so this will become log of a b base x so you are going to pick the base just the base example if you have log 3 base 5 plus log 2 base 5 then this will become log you know you just have it to be 3 times 2 yeah so it is 3 times 2, which is 6. You just have it to be log 3 times 2. You just pick one base. So which will be finally becomes log 3 times 3, that's 6, base 5. So log 3 base 5 plus log 2 base 5 will become, you know, they are the same base. So you just pick a base. So it will be, you just multiply the words, the log. That's 3 times 2, that's 6. Log 3 times 2, base 5. If you check this on the calculator, you are going to see that it's correct. Let's see. If you have log of, you have 5 here, you have 3. Then plus log of, you have 5 here, you have 2. Then press equals 2. You can see that the question here gives us one point. One one. That's the question. Let us see the answer here. That's log five, and you have six here. And the same thing. Can you see the same thing? The previous calculation, log three base, uh, log three base five, log log two base five, give us one point one one. And if you check this one, log six base five as well, give us one point one one. So it's the same thing. So now. The second one, if you have log a base x minus log b base x. Now, because they have the same base, then this without change to division. So, it will be a over b base x. So, this time around, it will be a over b division. So, minus will change to division. So, logarithm here is like opposite of the indices that we talk about. This is log of, let's say for instance, you have log of 4 base 5 minus log of, let's say, 2 base 5. Then this will become log of, you now I have the first one over the second one. That's 4 divided by 2 here, base 5. And finally, you have it to be log of 2 base 5. Then if you press this on the calculator as well, that's going to have the same thing. Log, you have 5 here. You have four year, then minus log of you have five, and you have two year. As you can see, this one is zero point zero point four three. Then let's see the other one here is log of you have five year, you have two year. Can you see zero point four three as well? The previous is this with zero point four three. This one is also 0 0.43. Now, let us see. The third one. The third one, I like it very well. Because even if you want to use and to solve logarithm very well, you have to use it. This is, if you have log of, let's see, log a base x is equal to y. Log a base x is equal to y. If you want to, we use this log 
if this is equal to this, then we use this law if you want to eradicate log reading, then it should now become x raised to power y, which is equal to a. That is, we are going to have it to be this base here raised to power what is here equals to this. That's it. This base raised to power this equals to this. That's why we say if log of this is equal to this, then this is equal to this. Now, what's let me give you an example. Everybody knows that. Let me give you an, an example. If they say something like log, what is log 10 base? Let's say 6. Or let me even say 9. Okay. Okay, let me use this. Let me use this. If you have log 10 base 10, everybody knows that log 10 base 10 is equal to 1. Yes, if you press it on your calculator, log 10 base 10 to be 1. That's it. Or even log 5 base 5, it will be 1. That's the next law I'm going to give you. Now, then if this happen, then you now have it to be this raised power this is equal to this. That is 10 raised power 1 is equal to what? 10. That's how you are going to take it. So if you now check 10 raised power 1 is the word 10. So 10 is equal to 10. So it's correct. They normally use this if they want to say, okay, let me give you, if they say, if log of x base 5 is equal to 1, find x. If log x base 5 is equal to 1, find x. I just use this as a simple example so that you can understand this law very well. Then you now say, okay, you now use this log. You now use this law, which says this will be raised by this and equals to this. So I have it to be 5 raised to power 1 is equal to what? X. So that means 5 raised to power 1 is what? 5. So 5 is equal to X. That shows that X is equal to what? 5. So if X is equal to 5, that shows that this place is equal to 5. And if you press on the, on the calculator as well, log 5 base 5 is equal to 1, which is correct. So that's how to use this law. You have to take note of this law very well. You have to understand. Now law 4 now. If you have log a base a is equal to 1, that is log of any number to the base of that number, e.g. log 2 base 2 is equal to 1. Log 5 base 5 is equal to 1. Log 7 base 7 is still equal to 1. So log of any number to any number is equal to 1. But don't be surprised. Some of you, since I gave you this law, and if you have another law that says log of, let's say you have one base of any number is zero. Example, if you have log of one base five, it will be zero. Press on the calculator. You have log of, you have five here, you have one here. So the answer is zero. If you have log of one base ten, it will be zero. So if I have 10 here, 10, to be 0. So log of 1, base of that number, base to any number, is what? Is 0. Now, we have something that says, let's say you have another example. I want to give you another example. Now, if you have log of 1, base 1. Now, log of 1, base 1, if we press it on your calculator, it will not follow this law. You know that log of base log of one base one, it's peculiar to these two laws. That is, if you it's peculiar to this law that says if you have log of any number to the same number, it will be equal to one. And it's peculiar to this law that says log of one base of any number. Log of one base of any number. Any number that is there to be zero. And it's peculiar to this one that says log of a number to the base of that same number is what is one. But this one will not follow this one. It will follow this one. So log of 1 base 1 is 0. If you press it on the calculator, log of 1 base 1, it's math error. But not all math errors are not valid on the calculator. So it is 0. So take note, log 1 base 1 is 0. Now, we should proceed. That's log 5. Now log 6 now. For the log 6, 
this is where I'm going to stop. Or I should give you one more. If you have log of, let's say, a raised power x to the base of b. Now, we can take the value here to the back a. So, to become x log of a base b, for example. If you have log uh, 25 to the base of 3, this log 25, I can have it to become log 5 raised power 2 to the base of 3. You know, 5 raised power 2 will give us 25. So I can now take this 2 to the back, so it becomes 2 log of 5 base of base 3. 2 log of 5 base 3. So this is the law. Number 7. If you have log of A base B raised power X, but C, C, this A here is coming to the back here. Unlike this one, when it is at the what at the top, so it now becomes one over x, then log of a base what base b, one over x, log of a base b. So if it's at the top here, if it takes to the back, it just be x. But if it's at the base here, if you are taking it to the top, it's be what one over that x. Example, I will use the same example here so that it will be very clear. If you have log of, let's say three base of twenty five now. It now becomes log of 3 base 5 raised power 2. So, therefore, this becomes 1 over 2. You know, if you take this 2 to the back, it will be 1 over 2. Then log of 3 base what? Base 5. Now, let us prove these two questions right. For the first one here, if you press log 3 here and 25, you have it to be, you can see this one is 2.93 approximately or you can see the value there for this value now let us see the final answer here which is two then log of you have three here you have five then if you see it's the same value now let us go with the second question here that's log of you have 25 here you have three the answer is 0 0.341 so let us press the answer you have one over two the log of you have 5 here, you have 3 here. The answer is 0 0.341. The same thing, can you see that is what is correct? And it's of the same word, the same value. Now, let's go to the next law. The next law is that, I said law 8. And the law says that if you have log x and log a base b, now, imagine I want to take this log. I want to take this log and base to so the same base. This becomes, let me say, I want to take it to the base of x. I can have it to be log a base x all over log b base x. So, it is the one at, at this place that will be at the denominator, and this one will be at the numerator, e.g. If you have log of 2 base 3, and I want to take this log within to the same base of 7. It becomes log of 2 base 7 over log of 3 base 7. So it is the one at the top here that will be at the numerator. This one at the below here that will be at the denominator. Now, this is this can be used in an advanced class. But let's prove if both of them are correct. The, for, the left side here, log of, we have 3 here, we have 2 here. The answer is 0 0.63. So let us prove the right side here, which is fraction button. Log of you have seven here, you have two here. Then come downward, you have log of you have seven here, you have three here. So it's this, it's still the same thing. So if you are taking it to the same base, I just use seven as an example here. So examiner can decide you to take it up to any base. So that's why I use seven. So they can use any base. Number nine which is the last aspect I'm going to stop for today. If you have something like this, x raised power of log of a base x, the answer here is a. Now, they can just give you, they can just give you a question. And sometimes it seems complex. Some of you complain, e.g. if you have something like this, if you have 5 raised to the power of log of 3 base 5. If you see this law very well, 
you observe that the number that is here is the same number that is here. That's why. This 5 here is the same thing with the 1 that is here. So your answer will just be this. So that's what's happening here. Number that is here is the same thing with the number that is here. So the answer is just this, which is A. So the answer is what? 3. So if you press on the calculator, you have it to be 5 raised to the power of log of, you have 5 here, you have 3 here. So the answer is what? 3. So that's it. Just know this law and you are good to go. Now let me give you an exercise. The question says, the question says, express V in terms of T. Express V in terms of T. In log of V is 3 plus log of T is 9 equals 4. Express V in terms of T. In log of v base 3 plus log of t base 9 equals 4. Option A, we have 81 over t. Option B, we have t over square root of 81. Option C, we have square root of t over 81. And option D, we have 81 over square root of t. Now, let me have the answer at the comment section. The option, which option is the correct answer here? But trust me, all these sets, uh, all these indices and logarithm can be solved using this calculator in seconds. In just seconds. For those of you that you are doing CBT exams, you may not have time to be using your hand to solve by following all this process. But we can teach you, watch more of our videos to know how to use this calculator to solve or to strange more questions on indices and logarithm. But the basic as well also needed so that you are going to understand. Thank you very much. Let me have the answer to this. Like, comment and subscribe. Share for other people to use. Thank you very much. God bless.